some of the cabins up at Angora Lake. Just buried. It is pretty cool when they let you bring them in. And we are here. So I wanted to go back and retell a story that we weren't ever really able to fully document because of how cold it was this day. So uh, my GoPro died. Uh, you know, even to take my hands out for a minute to film was way too cold. So later today, uh, Danny and I are going to head back out and do this tour again. Obviously, it's going to be very different conditions as this was filmed on February 22nd. And today, we're going to be looking for some corn. Feels nice. <laughs> yeah. But in the meantime, let's take you back to last night. So I promised my wife that we were going to have a little bit of a date night. So we are going to our favorite place for a glass of wine that allows dogs inside. It's called the Idle Hour. It's right on the lake. It's a local's favorite. We love it. The dogs love it. We'll bring you along. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all the pine cones and the dirt and a bunch of dirty snow and potholes, of course. You know, someone commented on the potholes on one of the last videos and, you know, the reality is, is that with the amount of rain we had this winter intermixed with the snow and then the amount of freeze-thaw cycles, it, it was bound to happen. And really, Caltrans and El Dorado County are constantly, when they can, they're getting out and basically getting to the worst potholes and they're they're trying to keep it under control so they're doing their best we may just be coming in the summers right we might just be coming in the summers cheers she's always loved the picture windows that's where we hope to see tomorrow Red Jake's it's stunning right now. Okay, so I'm trying something new here. This is uh, an application called Fat Map, which is something that we have started to use to plan and prep for all of our uh, backcountry ski touring. Um, so here you can see the overview of Lake Tahoe. And we'll zoom in a little bit here. And now you can kind of see South Shore. So South Lake Tahoe, here's the village and where the casinos are and Heavenly in through here. Now, if you're not interested in this aspect of things, um, just skip ahead about a minute and you can see the uh, adventure. So, we are planning a tour um, just south of South Lake Tahoe around Fallen Leaf Lake and in and around two smaller lakes called Angora Lakes. So, I'm just going to turn on the aspect layer here, which is pretty cool. So. You can see up here uh, kind of the guide to showing you what uh, aspect for the mountains is facing where. So if it's red, it's south. If it's um, more dark blue, that's going to be north. And then there's anything in between involving west and east slopes. And this is all important regarding avalanche terrain. It's also important when trying to hopefully have soft snow when you're skiing down. So we are going to start over here. And here you can see, it's kind of par with this on, but it looks like about 2,700 of vert potentially planned. Um, now at this point, we are hoping to get up and start to come down by late morning, early afternoon, so that hopefully these aspects here have softened. What we don't know is whether we're stopping here or if we're going to continue along up to Angora Peak. Obviously, coming back down through this terrain is 
Um, definitely steeper and possibly more of an avalanche risk. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see once we're up there. Um, but hope you enjoy. We'll bring you along. All right, we are at the parking lot, starting heading up towards Angora Ridge for take two on this adventure. All right, so we're coming up through the meadow, trying to make some decisions. Avalanche range uh, danger today is considerable, uh, so we do have to be worried about wet slides and also some of the cornice type stuff that you can see up there if anything drops like that as it's warming today. It's about 9.30 or shortly after, and I think it was already 40, 41 degrees, so we'll get a move on. Taking more layers off because it's getting hot. Here in front of us is a, a past burn, I believe it was the Angora fire of 2007. So the first real objective is just to gain this ridge and then we'll uh, kind of be route finding from there. We're about five, 600 feet up. All right, so what I want you to do is just listen here once I stop for a sec. That is corn, ripe for harvesting today. Looked at the maps, made a decision. We are gonna go to the right of Angora Peak there, kind of around in the forest, around the backside, which is basically our safe terrain. We're not worrying about terrain traps and the cornices that are sitting up over behind those trees there. So that's where we're gonna head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> downhill skinning is always a fun game. Making good progress. Talak is in the background. Right there. And fawn leaf to Lake Tahoe. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so we are probably only 100 to 200 feet away from the summit and we're just picking our way up there.
the cabins up at Angora Lake. Just buried. Buried. Another cabin. sight to see back to the cars yeah four four point seven miles and 22 27 for vert of climbing